today's satsang in bhagavad gita fourth chapter jnana karma sanyasa yoga 42nd sutra tasmad agnyana sambhutam hrutstam jnana sinatmanah chitvainam samshayam yogam atishta uttishta bharata तस्मादूत हृत्स्त ज्ञानासीन आत्मन चिवैण संशय योग आतिष्ट उत्तिष्ट भारत ट्रांसलेशन देर फोर ओ डिसेंडेंट ऑफ भारत हैविंग डिस्ट्रॉयड विद द स्वर्ड ऑफ युअर एसेंशियल नेचर दिस इरेसल्यूटन दट इज बॉर्न अंड इज चेरिस्ट in the heart due to non understanding stand up and gain superiority through intense action i can be very sure when bhagwan uttered these words he says i'll bless you but i know i have to talk again o descendant of bharata having destroyed with the sword of your essential nature this irresoluteness that is born and is cherished in the heart due to non understanding stand up and gain superiority through intense action i tell you whenever you are in confusion the best way to get out of confusion is start doing intense action start creating take the decision which expands your consciousness even though it pains when i took this responsibility of madhuri adinam even people who are around me they said oh god swami ji do you know it's a huge work and many of our devotees swami ji do you know what you are getting into there will be so much of opposition all that i told them in one word always decide for fulfilling what you stand for i know for sure this seat the seat of madhuri adinam will really help me to fulfill my mission my mission of making human beings living enlightenment making human beings experience enlightenment raised consciousness for teaching the spirituality i know for sure this pita this throne this seat will be a very powerful help that is the reason i took up this responsibility whenever you are in confusion dilemma take up responsibilities go on expanding i know this responsibility is not a piece of cake for me it was pieces of cake for me <laughs> i have to gather everything together <laughs> to put it together <laughs> if it is piece of cake you can eat if it is pieces of cake first you have to assemble <laughs> to make a cake out of it but i tell you life is a play life is a joy you don't know how heavy it feels all these rudrakshas but that's the way life is that is the way life is
I am wearing at least 4 to 5 kg weight on me. Tasmadanyana sambhutam hritstam jnana sina atmanaha chitvainam samsayam yogam atishta uttishta bharata. O descendant of Bharata, having destroyed with the sword of your essential nature this irresoluteness that is born and is cherished in the heart due to non-understanding, stand up and gain superiority through intense action. I tell you, the power of hard work, not smart work, power of hard work. Two days before, I gave you all one homework. I spoke on the spontaneous readiness for intense action one day. I told all of you to pen down that day satsang in your book of art with your handwriting. So I went to the our website and saw the transcript which you are supposed to pen down in your notebook. I had little time. So in all this, amidst this war, so I thought, why not me also pen down? Of course, I did not get a paper and pen, but I took up my iPad and started typing. I looked, I kept that in one screen, in another one, I had two iPad. Another one iPad, I started typing. I tell you, really I tell you, I don't know how you will understand. I understood my own discourse more deeply. When I typed. Now you understand whatever way you want. I don't want to interpret on that. But when I typed, I said, oh God, did I say it? It's my discourse, transcribed, faithfully, using the video record. When I myself was typing it again, I was shocked. But I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the whole experience. <clears throat> because when I was typing it once more, I saw very clearly, point by point, like a system, the whole truth is evolving. See, to tell you honestly, when I sit here, all I do is I connect with the whole group of disciples sitting all over the world and I say, all right, whatever they need, let it come out. It comes out. That day I myself got a chance to relook at whatever I said. Then I thought, oh God, what a gift to a seeker because very systematically the whole truth is presented. It was a discourse on samshayatma minashyati. And of course, I have spoken on readiness on, for intense action, spontaneous readiness for intense action. About that also, I give an introduction. Hard work has its own strength. Hard work in hostile situation makes you a leader. I used to tell, people ask me, how did you spread spirituality all over the world? How did so many thousands are inspired by you? I used to tell them, you see, if somebody is able to drive in Calcutta, he can get international license immediately. He can drive anywhere in the world. That's the worst traffic. Actually, if you walk on the banners, you will reach the place more earlier than sitting in the taxi. In Calcutta, if traffic jam happens, you are supposed to reach Aura station or the airport. The best thing you can do is get out of your taxi, walk on the bannets. Just from one car to another car. <laughs> Start walking on one car to another car. That's the best way and easiest way you will reach your destination. If you are sitting inside your taxi, cab, and expecting that you will reach the place little late, forget about it. 
the worst traffic i have ever seen on the planet earth or i can say in the cosmos is calcutta traffic god i don't speak about calcutta because the moment i speak about calcutta it pulls me like kailash the place where sri ramakrishna lived whatever sampradaya i may represent i may represent sometime shankara sampradaya when i speak brahma sutras when i sit in the madhurya dinam i may represent jnana sambandha sampradaya for my disciples they may perceive me as representing nityananda sampradaya whatever sampradaya i may represent in different times but when i am all by myself i represent ramakrishna sampradaya because <laughs> ramakrishna is irremovable component of my being still when i try to find a spiritual solution for any issue in my book of heart i turn to ramakrishna only so in my book of heart i have millions of solutions still for me to have a solution i turn to ramakrishna only millions may turn to me but i myself turn to ramakrishna only if i start the word calcutta i know i'll get into ramakrishna and will not come back to sri krishna <laughs> that is why i don't touch calcutta anyhow just like calcutta's traffic if you are able to drive in calcutta you can drive anywhere in the world same way if you can inspire tamilians you can inspire anybody in the world i have inspired tamilians i worked i did hard work my first 10 years of my mission you see the beginning of your mission only you set your standards how many hours you are going to work how you are going to work what kind of methods you are going to reach out you are going to use to reach out your message to people all that is standardized set as a trend only in the first 10 years the first 10 years i worked hard in the worst hostile situations i tell you i have polished myself like diamond polishing like diamond cutting i have cut myself now i know for sure i'll be successful anywhere <laughs> i can inspire any human being manu very beautifully describes the period of brahmacharya the period of learning should be in a place where intense hostility is there because when the situation around you is hostile your swadhishtana cannot sleep it will be so wide open widely available aware of looking at everything and everybody without resting into peace it will imbibe more and more things it's like a before going for feast you take some appetizer so that your stomach is open for swallowing everything i tell you i worked in the worst hostile group of people how everybody perceives everything the word nityananda is such a vibrant word nobody wants to miss it <laughs> no media wants to publish their version without the word nityananda whether it's tv media or a visual media or a print media or a radio or weekly or monthly they don't want to miss the name nityananda in the front page <laughs> it's almost like a, before we write we write like a om shubha 
ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಯೂಸಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಐ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಐ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಹಾರಿಬಲ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಹೊಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಐ ಎಲ್ ರಿವೈವ್ ವೇದಿಕ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ because i have polished my instrument my weapon my intelligence using the most hostile atmosphere the irresoluteness that is born and is cherished in heart due to non understanding stand up and gain superiority through intense action bhagwan is beautifully giving direct instruction at the end of every chapter bhagwan gives direct instruction to arjuna do it so in the fourth chapter also he gives direct instruction after explaining all the logic bhagwan now says direct instruction stand up and gain superiority through intense action this is the last sutra of the fourth chapter 42nd verse idi shrimad bhagavad gita su ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸ್ತ್ರೆ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಜುನ ಸಂವಾದೆ ಜ್ಞಾನಗರ್ಮ ಸನ್ಯಾಸೋ ನಾಮ ಚತುರ್ಥೋಧ್ಯ ವಸುಧೇವಸುಧಂಚಾನೂರಮರ್ದನ ದೇವಗೀ ಪರಮಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು Paramahamsa Nityananda, a rare living incarnation, is named among the world's 100 most spiritually influential personalities today. Paramahamsa Nityananda has been placed alongside Dalai Lama, Nelson Mandela, Oprah Winfrey, Paulo Coelho and others by Mind Body Spirit, the world's top esoteric magazine from Watkins, London's oldest and largest bookstore. A yogi by birth, he has been expressing his power of enlightenment since birth. He has authored more than 500 books in Tamil and English. Translations of these books are available in 26 languages in Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Hindi, Sanskrit, Gujarati, Oriya, Bengali, Marathi, French, Malay, Polish, Portuguese, Italian, German, Danish, Spanish, Russian and Chinese. He is also an exemplary speaker with over 10,000 hours of profound life solutions through his discourses, social services such as Annadan, free medical care, free educational services with ashrams, schools, temples, hospitals established in more than 140 places around the world offering exceptional services. A powerful spiritual healer who has healed millions of people of diseases from migraine to cancer. A Kriya Yogi who has formulated Kriyas for physical health and mental well-being benefiting thousands. A living master who offers practical solutions for our everyday problems. He is the founder and spiritual head of Nityananda Dhyanapitam. 
a spiritual powerhouse who has revived the sacred Vedic tradition by establishing Vedic temples in places like Los Angeles, San Jose, Seattle, Toronto, Ohio, Oklahoma, Phoenix, St. Louis, Malaysia, Brazil, Paris, Guadeloupe, Dallas, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Calgary, Vancouver, Singapore and places in India like Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Tiruvannamalai. A spiritual guru for 10 million followers, an incarnation who transmits the highest spiritual energy through initiation, a contemporary yogi who has revived the Vedic science of yoga worldwide through thousands of yoga centers, an adept in Ashtamahasiddhi's mystical yogic powers who has effortlessly awakened the Kundalini of thousands and graced them with spiritual powers, a dynamic young guru who is an inspiration for for thousands of youngsters. India's most watched spiritual guru online, a beacon of spiritual light who has triumphed over the forces of religious terrorism and political persecution. Paramahamsa Nityananda is an eternal Kalpataru blessing the world with the boons of material abundance and spiritual enlightenment. Vande Papa Vinashatam Nityananda Yaswagatam Nitya Muktam Nirvikalpam Dhyana Loka Pradipakam Vande Shantamayam Bandham Nityananda Yaswagatam Ananda Gandha Sancharam Sarvo Padhi Vinir Muktam Vande Nyanalayam Natham Nityananda Yaswagatam Let you all See, experience, live, express, radiate, share and explode in eternal bliss. Nityananda. Nityananda Dhyana Peter, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Biradi, Bangalore, 562-109. Contact 0974-22-033-11. www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com slash lifeblissfoundation 